greetings y'all now this is not a news bulletin this is like a life commentary I just want to share some of my thoughts um, about the black community we have a tendency to store up negative energy we have a tendency to think negatively of each other right and it's so crazy um, a guy came here to the Bahamas from America he's a white guy um, he crash landed um, a Cessna plane well he didn't crash land because he still survived but he basically landed a Cessna in the Bahamas right um, evaded police capture for a few days um, he encountered the police got into a physical altercation with them broke one of their shoulders right but was arrested and detained without injury right now we have some Bahamians black Bahamians who are being just detained and questioned about a crime and they are being suffocated they're being electrocuted well not electrocuted but they're being tased um, many of them go to court limping after an encounter with the police you know um, some of them don't make it to the court some of them are killed by the police um, just on site so I'm saying we just have a lot of residual animosity from the plantation we still so caught up just um, showing venom to each other right we don't trust one another many times you know and I say all of that to say that you know ultimately what we get what we give to the world we cannot take back whatever we give to the universe we should expect to receive you know and so this brought me back to the idea of causality and I just think generally one of the major issues in the black community that stagnates progress even in the black conscious community we have um, this tendency to attack everything black we have a tendency to um, gossip right we don't even speak our mind when we encounter black people we have this tendency to think ill of them right wait until the person leaves and then speak your thoughts about them you know and I think when we arrive at this point where we are able to communicate our thoughts in whatever form they may take communicate your thoughts to people right we shouldn't store negative thoughts in ourselves because it will become toxic and then it will spill out to your family to your friends you know to your co-workers you know if you store up animosity then it will sort of detach you from reality all right you will be programmed by this thought of negativity to the extent that you won't be able to function in a group you won't be able to function when it comes down to actually advancing the cause of African people you know but in terms of causality what we give to the world we should expect to receive all right and I'm reminded of the Buddhist threefold path right I made a video about this before I've since deleted it but in the Buddhist threefold path there are three major focuses right thought right speech and right action right and when I read this it was so practical it was so logical and it was so applicable that I just felt it was important that I hold on to it and I try to employ it in my daily life because if you can embrace right thoughts right speech right actions then you will have self-control you will be able to actually be a functional part of a community right because if you can discipline your thoughts 
if you can discipline your speech then you will definitely be able to also discipline your actions right and so many times I feel like we are the victims of undisciplined thoughts many people are at a lower vibration they are at a lower stage of cognitive and uh, spiritual development and so many times due to their refusal to discipline their thoughts and discipline their speech and discipline their actions we find ourselves in conflicts okay as a black race we store negative thoughts and we have a thing in the Bahamas called rowdy right in other parts of the world I think that's when um, I don't know if they call it conflict but there's a particular time when we release our true thoughts about people and we call that in the Bahamas we say that's row day that's the day when we row that's the day when we have that fight that has been brewing right but my question to my subscribers today is this how did conflict brew among friends among associates all right how did it really brew it brewed internally okay it was taking place in the minds of each of these individuals who chose to think negatively all right and so my people I just wanted to leave these thoughts with you to whom they may concern I hope it is useful to somebody but I think we really need to embrace this notion of right thought right speech and right actions I think that will help us to um, interact with each other in a more authentic way because many times we find that our interaction is not very authentic right I was telling somebody in a conversation that many times when you see people in our community smiling it is because of somebody else's downfall it is because of somebody else's misfortune all right it is because of somebody else's um, flaw okay many times even the humor in our social environment is charged with um, animosity it is charged with cynicism and so many times our people find themselves entertained by misfortunes and by the downfall of their brethren and sisters in